Hey guys, Kirk from the Forever Homestead. Um, so I'm gonna uh, fire up the solar system today. Um, but I had a few people message me, um, and also um, one or one of our subscribers commented on the uh, our sol our last solar video and asking about the battery bank, um, what we have, all that kind of stuff, amp hours. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial while I have the the big door open, um, uh, easier to show the batteries and stuff. So. I'll show you what we have here. So if you remember back in uh, one of our pump house videos, uh, I built the whole system with these movable panels. Um, so they just pop out. Whoa. So one panel shows four batteries. Um, so there's four under each of these. So eight there, eight there, eight. And then these last two rows actually have 12 batteries in it. So uh, we ended up going, uh, let's see if I can show you this here. We ended up going with the Rolls batteries. Uh, Rolls was bought by Soretti, but they're the Rolls, the Soretti Battery Company. Um, we chose these ones for a lot of reasons. I mean, they're they're pretty solid. The uh, the person that we're dealing with, this is what they use, and also they're Canadian. They're made in Nova Scotia, so we're just trying to keep things um, to our own to our own country kind of thing. Uh, so these are the uh, the S fourteen fifties. Each battery is a two volt battery. Um, you can see it comparison to my hand. Um, so I think offhand, I think they're about 17 inches high, 12 inches wide, and seven inches, or sorry, 12 inches, uh, I guess wide, and then and uh, seven inches long. I guess whatever. Anyway, um, you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, zoom in here a little bit. Um, so at the 20 amp or the 20 hour mark, that's how a lot of batteries are measured. Uh, these are uh, 1,124 amp hours a piece. Uh, so the way that we have them wired up is um, we've got two strings of batteries, so two days autonomy. So we have 12 batteries wired in series. Um, you kind of see the cables here. So from the negative of this one to the positive, negative to positive, negative to positive the whole way uh, for 12 of them. Uh, so that's a 48 volt bank, or sorry, for 24 of them, that's a 48 volt bank. And then we have the, this, so bank one is in parallel with bank two. Uh, an important thing to remember when you're wiring in your batteries is to make sure that all of these interconnection cables in your series runs, as well as in your parallel runs, are the same length. So these series uh, cables, so from, from one side here to the next, uh, from here to right next to them. They all have to be exactly the same length. So these are all 16 inches and then also between your your series battery bank So one bank connected to the other bank. So those parallel runs that connect the batteries um, So positive to positive negative to negative those have to be the same length They don't like the parallel ones don't have to be the 16 But whatever you do for one bank they have to be for both banks. So, you know, there's extra cable under here because you know the way that the battery terminals fall on the end, you just got to coil it up. Same with running it up into the inverter. It has to be the same length. Where the problem is, as it charges, the batteries in the center aren't going to be getting the same charge, uh, which will eventually destroy your battery. Um, these batteries, each of them roughly, are about four hundred and sixty dollars Canadian. Um, so you know you don't want you don't want to be killing a battery. Technically, they should have a twenty-year lifespan on them. Uh, a lot of people will destroy their batteries in the first five years. So um, these are just a flooded, flooded battery. So you got to check the water levels. Although I am ordering uh, or researching and probably ordering um, an automatic drip system to to keep them watered. So there's a, a formula you can use um, to determine the size of your battery bank, how big you need it. Uh, I think roughly we figured out we're using between 21 and 20. Was it between 21 and 24 or 25 kilowatts a month? That's averaged over the year. You know, some months are more with heating and stuff like that. So I think we did roughly. We based this this our battery bank on 28 um, kilowatts a month, and and sized it to that, which is one bank of batteries. So one so 24 batteries, and then we doubled that. So we had two days autonomy. So we can technically go two days without sunshine which is going to happen a lot come February. Um, I'll put the formula down below in the description so you can see how we came to our numbers and all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit of a long process. You know, you got to go through and, uh, you know, 
how many stoves you have, how many fridges, air conditioners, you know, what your, your daily usage is and, and uh, get it from there. You can also go to your hydro bill um, if you're, you know, your hydro one and I'm sure, you know, the subscribers down in the States, it's the same thing. Whatever your, you know, you'll get your bill, it'll show you your average monthly usage on it. So uh, we kind of roughed that over the year and uh, that's how we came to our battery bank size. Um, it's a pretty new system, you know, if you have questions, put them down uh, in the comments below. Uh, you know, I'll answer as best I can. You know, as time goes on, uh, I'll learn a lot more about these batteries and, and how they work. As far as setting up your charge controllers and all that, uh, you can get your information online or in the, if, on, in the case of these batteries, it's actually written right on the side of the battery, what you, you know, how many, you know, what your voltages are for all of your... Uh, all of your charge controllers and and systems like that but you know for now that's uh i'll uh, i'll keep you updated um you know as time goes on how these batteries are performing but until next time have a good one